Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K, and today we'll be crocheting beanies. I decided to crochet beanies today because I was looking for a beanie <laughs> to wear on my morning walk and I couldn't find a beanie. And I remember my sister crocheted some beanies and I was like, where are those beanies? And I couldn't find those beanies. And so I was just like, <sighs> and then I was like, I can just make my own. So my sister sent me a beanie pattern to follow and I was just like oh I can just make a video out of this and post it so here I am trying to make some beanies I've never created a beanie before but you know what we are going to try today so I'll have the pattern linked down below for you guys if you want to go ahead and follow along with me or if you just want to make a beanie apparently it's supposed to be simple I'll be watching Scandal while I'm doing this so it's probably gonna take me a little longer than hours because I mean, I've seen Scandal a bajillion times, but I still get so into it. I'm just like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, it's like I know a little bit of what's going to happen, but I don't know all of the details. Anyway, this is not about Scandal. This is about crocheting a beanie. So this is for like an adult woman slash adult man. And the creator of the pattern has the row, row counts, the chain counts for each one. And yeah, I'm going to follow the adult woman and see if it fits this noggin and if it doesn't then I'll just create another one that's supposed to be for an adult man but anyway it's a bunch of like half double crochets half double crochet back loops and yeah that's literally about it yeah okay I like half double crochet even though double crochet is my favorite half double crochet comes in second so we're just gonna half double crochet all right let me show you the yarn I'll be using I'll be using this Red Heart Super Saver yarn as well as this green Red Heart Super Saver yarn that I used already. <laughs> but I was just like, let me make a green one. And then I was like, let me use this yarn because I accidentally bought bright red when I was supposed to buy like cherry red or whatever. And then I had some leftover white impeccable yarn. They're all acrylic. So I was just like, let me create three of them today you know this is a nice chill day I don't really have much else to do today like it's it's gonna be later on in the day like close to nighttime because I can do that but it is currently 10 10 51 in the morning so I have time I have all day to create and I just want to crochet I'm working on two projects right now I'm trying to finish this tapestry I'm trying to have this video out for you guys I'm also working on a jumper for the first time ever I'm not gonna film myself doing that one just because I'm just trying to figure out like what yarn I'm gonna use and just just all of the things and yeah so I like to work on smaller projects in between my longer projects and then it helps that I can film it and post it. So every video that you guys see is a project in between my huge projects, <laughs> which can be chaotic at times. But anyway, let's move on and get started with crocheting this beanie. I'll be using one of my hooks from Furls. I have, oh my God, I love Furls hook. Oh my God. Okay. But this is their like limited edition supernova hook. So I was just like I had to snatch one up in a size six because I use six for like all of my little creations and I got it. Anyway, now let's get started on crocheting a beanie.
Okay guys, a little update. I am, <laughs> this is what it's looking like right now, okay? This right here, I am on row 22. And guess what time it is, okay? This was supposed to take like an hour, it says on the uh, pattern. It's 4.24 p.m. and I started this at like, what, 10.50 something? <laughs> But let me tell you why. I have taken so many breaks since then. I've just been up and down and all around. I did not expect to keep getting up and down and taking breaks and stuff. So it's taking me way longer than I thought. But you know what? I do not mind because I have nothing else to do tonight. So I'm going to at least try to get one more beanie in tonight or... You know what? I forget, I don't have to do this video all in one day, so I can still get three beanies. It will just have to be between today and tomorrow, most likely, if I am not able to get this done. And plus, I'm watching Scandal at the same time, so I'm just like distracted all over. But you know, this is supposed to be a relaxing project anyway, so yeah. I just wanted to update you guys, and I will continue to update you probably when I'm done and show you probably when I'm done with this entire like ribbing type of thing also I'm left-handed so in order to get this ribbing effect like you see right here I have to do front loop only instead of back loop only because like, everything's like reversed basically so if you're a right hander back loop only would work but since I'm a left hander I have to do front loop only so yeah just want to tell you guys that as well so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this I'm gonna finish all of this and then before I like sew this together like this way I think it's this way it's not this way yeah it has to be this way yeah this way and then like I like cinch up some stuff or I sew this up and then I don't know I gotta look at the pattern again anyway I'll show you guys later all right guys it's the next day I kind of finished so it says to like weave in the top and then you're supposed to grab the string and you know yank it tight and I weaved it in and when I went to yank the string, the string wouldn't budge. So now I just have this square thing with an opening that could be a could be a beanie if it was a square beanie. Yeah. So we're gonna try again with the green yarn and see if I actually do it correctly this time. Guys, yes, it is a new day yet again. This is like the third day now that I'm working on this project. <laughs> this is supposed to be like, oh, maybe it'll take an hour and now it's the third day, yay. But I am this far in, I'm on row 33 right now. I think I'm gonna do like 60 rows just so that I can guarantee that it'll fit on my head or kind of guarantee that it'll fit on my head just because I love big things anyway. And yeah, so this is literally all I have to do, half double crochet, back loop only, but front loop only for me because I'm left-handed, and until row 60, and then I will try to, oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I folded it the wrong way, that's why. I think I might have folded it the wrong way. I think I did. I don't know. We shall see. This time I will film the process of me trying to put the hat together just so, you know, we can see what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on that before I continue with this. And then, yeah, I'll be back when it's time to put this thing together because this is taking me way longer than I thought. I am, and I ended up having to do more in the day than I thought I did. I thought I had a free day, but... Alas, I never have a free day, so yeah, let's get back into this.
All right, guys, it's later in the day, and I am... Ah! forgot I was connected to yarn. Give me a second. All right, I have finished all... I think it's 60. It might be 59. You know what? I do not care. But I finished this, so I'm going to put this part and this part together like this, and then I'm going to slip stitch it down the side. And then, after that, I turn it, and then I'll talk about that next in just a second. I'm done basically sewing it together. Give me some slack. All right, it looks like this now. <laughs> I accidentally didn't like sew this little part together, but who cares? Anyway, it looks like this now, so now... Okay, this is the part I messed up on. Like, everything else was fine. It was just this that I messed up on. So, apparently, I'm supposed to go through like... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like these little holes right here. My sister told me instead of like actually like sewing it together because it says weave it through and then yank it to tighten it and I'm like okay weave it through I did that but apparently I'm supposed to weave it through these little holes but it doesn't specify so I'm going to try that out and if that doesn't work then I'm just not gonna make a beanie <laughs> and this is just gonna be me attempting to make a beanie and failing twice so let's weave this through please work oh my Please. Okay, I weaved it through. Here's a string. Now let's. Oh God! Please. All right, let's. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> it's working. It's working. Yes! Oh my gosh. You guys, wait. Okay, 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 okay. So it says do this. I don't want to snap it off. So let's go back to the pattern. Oh, finally. My heart. Uh, pull the tail tight. Weave in and out throughout the cinched hold. Okay. Weave in and out. I guess. Guess I just weave in and out of this, I'm assuming. Let's try it before I snap this off. All right guys, I cinched the top. I sewed in and out of it. So let's flip it, see what it looks. <laughs> oh God, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> the heck did I do? Uh, this is what it looks like. Oops. Okay. I kind of cinched it tightly so it has like these little groove thingies, but that is totally okay. Let's put it on my head if it can fit because my head is a little big. But anyway, let's try it. Moment of truth. <gasps> it looks like a beanie. Ah, okay. <laughs> See, I got a lot of hair. It's really a headband. Yeah. It is the headband. Yeah. Alright. This is the beanie. It's a beanie. Look at this. <laughs> this is my first ever beanie, guys. Alright. That's what it looks like. I was supposed to make three of these, but as you guys saw, the first one was an epic fail because I did not weave it in correctly. But it's okay because now I have this and I'm glad the green one ended up, ended up successful because green is my favorite color. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys follow along with this pattern, let me know how it went for you. Let me know if you, in, if you messed up just like I did or if you're successful the first time, what kind of yarn you use, what needle you use, like all of the good stuff. 
If you guys want me to make something, you know, follow a pattern or anything, just let me know what you want me to make next. Or if you have a pattern you would like me to follow, just link that down below as well so I can check it out. If you guys want to keep in touch with me, I'm always active on my social media, on Instagram, all the time. DMs are the best way to reach me if you want to have a conversation. And I'll see you guys in my next video.